Namaste beautiful beings, my name is Joy, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming with another pick a card reading and today the theme is going to be the twin flame journey. So I have been asking you what type of pick a cards you wanted to see and a lot of you voted for twin flame. So today we're going to ask the question, what do I need to know about the person that I feel is my twin flame? And this is still a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. You can contact me for personal readings. Okay, so before we pick a pile, we're going to do like this. Take one deep breath, hold your hands on your heart, ask your higher self for a number between one and four. And yes, there might be so that several pile resonates with you. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon. Namaste, welcome back for your show's pile number one. Let's see, what do you need to know about the person that you feel is your twin? And we have the dream from Osho Tarot. In the near future from Angel Anthers Oracle. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take from Romans Angels. So you have a dream, a dream about true love. And this is something you've been wishing and wanting for quite a long time. And you know what you want. This person and you also share an astral connection and you have been seeing them in your dreams. You also might have seen them before you met or had astral encounters before you met. So you have definitely a strong connection, spiritual connection with this person. And you did share a true love connection with this person in a past life. And this, at this time on your journey, you're being guided to make the effort. So that means that you should not give up on this connection at this moment. There is more for you to explore in this relationship. There is some specific steps that you have been guided to take, that you need to take. And this is for your own healing process and for your spiritual progress. It is very important that you remain responsible for yourself in this relationship and that you do things for yourself out of self-love and because it is your truth if you've been doubting this connection if you've been feeling defeated or alone they are basically telling you that it's not right to give up right now there is something around the corner whether it is a revelation release of past life karma a spiritual awakening at this moment this person is very important for your journey and you should not give up and then you get a message about time so they're saying in the near future so that means that something will happen in your connection like an epiphany um, and you will see your connection much more clearer. You will have a different understanding of your connection. The angels are very close and watching over both of you. And you also might have been waiting for communication or to meet up or to have a physical encounter with, your, with the person that you feel is your twin. And this is also something that is set to happen in the near future. So something is definitely happening with the energy in this connection. And it's also very important that you note down the dreams that you have been receiving and try and decipher the meaning of these dreams. Okay, so don't give up on this connection just yet. There is more to come. You are being guided to take some specific steps and for your own spiritual progress and your healing journey this person is still 
an important part of your life. Please do not give up. Okay, so that was it for pile number one. Please let me know how this resonated with you. Like and subscribe and leave some comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Namaste. Welcome back for usual's pile number two. Let's see. What do you need to know about the person that you feel is your twin? And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children from Romans Angels. Conditioning from Osho Tarot. And yes, from Angel Answers Oracle. So with the children card here, there might be so that there is children involved in your relationship. So either one of you might already have children, might be even married or have another family or an ex. Or it might be so that it's your own inner child that is interfering with the relationship. And with the conditioning card here, there is a lot of social obstacles in your relationship. Social obstacles, cultural obstacles, maybe friends and families or relatives that are interfering with your relationship. There might be a lot of people advising you against the connection because it seems to be untraditional or impractical or go against social norms and standards. And your karma is to break free from this conditioning, to break free from this judgment, to move outside of these programming and discover what true love actually means. And this is your personal karma. You are now the lion amongst sheep and you need to take leadership and stand for what you believe in. Don't expect the sheep to understand you in that sense. And then you get yes so if you've been asking something specific about this person the answer is yes depending on what your question is but i'm sensing that this is an affirmative that you should not give up on the connection that you should invest more because there is something specific here between you and your heart cannot let go of this person despite these obstacles and what you need to know about these obstacles is that it's purely mind created there is no true obstacles it is all social conventions culture programs and other people's opinions and this is something that you don't need to let uh, cage you in okay so that was it for pile number two Please let me know how this resonated with you like and subscribe and leave some comments down below thank you so much for tuning in namaste welcome back for you who shows pile number three let's see what do you need to know about the person that you feel is your twin We have unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going from Romans Angels. The Miser from Osho Tarot. Trust from Angel Answers Oracle. Okay, so this is quite clear. It says unrequited love. This relationship is not meant to be in this lifetime. Even though you might have shared a um, true love connection in a past life this person is called a false twin it is not your true twin this relationship is not meant to last this is not the person that you are supposed to spend your life with and you might have been already facing a lot of obstacles with this person maybe there's been a lot of foul play deceit abuse addictions or drama and you have been struggling with letting go you feel like if you lose this person you will lose everything 
And this is not true. This is the attachment that you need to let go of. This is what's keeping you stuck in this um, karmic connection with this person. This person is not your twin. And the chemistry is not right for you this time, in this lifetime. And you will only hurt yourself by hanging on to this and you need to release this victim consciousness you get trust here trust that there is something better coming it's almost like when you can release this person you will understand why this person was not right for you when you meet the right one and sometimes we are not meant to be with people even though we have love for them and even though there is a love there is always love between souls because we spend so many type of lifetimes with different people in this lifetime it's not meant to be and you need to trust that your true twin is out there so this person is a called a false twin somebody appearing to be your twin a part of your journey in order for you to heal and release and let go of certain karma so even though you have been convinced that they are your twin for a while that was serving a purpose and this person is not okay and this is still a general reading and you can look for more sources of confirmation if you feel this is very hard to digest okay so that was it for pile number three please let me know how this resonated with you like and subscribe and leave some comments down below thank you so much for tuning in namaste welcome back for you who shows pile number four let's see what do you need to know about the person that you feel is your twin then we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate remain positive from angel answers oracle and rebirth from osho tarot so yes this looks like your twin i don't have a twin fan card so this one is my twin fan card in this deck it says yes this is the one so you have met your twin already and you will probably already know this it says remain positive as you move along in this connection there might have been a lot of obstacles or doubts or fears or karmic cycles cycling out and true love persists through all the obstacles that's a sign of a true love connection it is not the fact that you are facing struggle or, or having problems it is that you can overcome them that you can rise through these challenges be born again together and even though sometimes that there are these death cycles and birth cycles in the connection there might be times where you feel like you're definitely over you just want to let this person go you're done you want to leave you're tired and then suddenly something happens and again you Get attracted back to this person and you realize that this is your true love okay so yes this is your twin remain positive as you cycle through these more heavy parts of your journey know that death and rebirth is a part of the connection and even though you sometimes lose faith in this person the universe is still on your side it's bringing this love back to you even though you're running from it, it's coming back. And even though you have given up, it still works. So this is magic, the magic of the twin flame connection, of the true twin flame connection. Okay, so that was it for pile number four. Please let me know how this resonated with you. Like and subscribe and please leave some comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Namaste.